Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I mean Arceus, because there's the Arceus system with Silverly. Anyway, um, so, last time, the previous last two times, my Nintendo Switch was overheating. I believe it was because the fan was literally broken. Uh, I could not feel any airflow or hear any sound from it. So... I am fortunate enough that I am able to, I was able to get a new Nintendo Switch, a fancy OLED or OLED model, I suppose. Hopefully this thing won't overheat right out of the box, but we're back. This is what the title screen looks like. A pleasant scene, a scenic scene. Ooh, the flute. <laughs> nice. Oh, and underneath my face, there's a galaxy of loading. But here we are. Back directly where we were. Our goal is to learn how to craft, I think. Yeah. What does everyone else have to say about this, though? Wow, I can't even talk to you. Abba. Hey, it's Laventon's Laboratory. Oh, you get a lot about his character just from looking at the place he's in. What is this? It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly looks impressive. Got like a, a little hearth of some kind here. Kotatsu. Pile of book and object. Rowlet. On a tree. Cool. I wonder if we had taken Rowlet, I'm guessing Rowlet would not be here. Nothing here seems relevant to you. I don't know. There's an illustration of a cricket tot right there. That's pretty dang relevant. Is that like a little funny chalk bidoof on there? Like, uh,. Oops. I don't have the zoom feature enabled on the new Nintendo Switch. Time for an exciting... Uh, where the heck was that anyways? Look, this is important. I think that's a funny Bidoof. There's a Shinx, Cricketot, Cherim. Yeah, that's what that is, probably. All this maybe legible text? I feel like you could probably translate that if you wanted to. We've got a great deal of survey work ahead of us, my girl. I hope you're ready. I think that was my Laventon voice. God, I, I, I hope I didn't lose it immediately. I do solemnly declare that I shall record in all due detail the modes of life of all the history region's Pokémon. Notes stuck here and there about Pokémon species currently being rep er, researched. So we got a... Uh, there's an Abra. There's a Pikachu. There's a Starly. There's a Roselia. Neat. Oh, and there's Oshawott over here. Got a little tank. I wonder where Cyndaquil would go. Oh, obviously over here. Yeah, this is the Cyndaquil bed. That's adorable. Commander Commodore's office is on the third floor. Yes, it is. Let's learn how to craft. Who are you? Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm, a lo I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. What? Outfit already? 
Everyday kimono and trousers. Okay. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. I certainly heck and will. Absolutely. Hey, hey, this way to the craft works. I want to avail myself of the village's humble shops, though. Who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. I suppose I can purchase basic supplies. Ah, cake lure base. Okay, can I get a haircut? Yes, I can. Immediate haircut, very important. Go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look would you like to go for? Ah. So the survey course style with the hair band is... Yeah, yeah, I get ya. Hmm. None of these scream crane to me in particular. Nor do these. Ah, eyebrows. That's nice, you can have like separate eyebrow color. This is a waste of 500 Pokemon coin. But my eyebrows are darker now. Yeah, all done now. You look simply wonderful. Thank you for coming in today. Take care not to leave anything behind. I shan't. Come back any time, dear. Clothing. Special parcels arrived with your name on it. Eh? Modern jacket, modern trousers, and modern shoes. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. More? Shame and fancy kimono and shame and fancy bottoms. Some of these might be like pre-order bonuses or something? Or like save data bonuses? Pikachu Festival Mask and Eevee Festival Mask. Absolutely save data bonuses are involved here. Okay, but what can we buy though? I, I want to preview. I guess I can't preview these because of my hair currently, which is a shame. Now, hold on. Gotcha. Understood. Oh. <laughs> okay. I could be Team Galactic. That's cute. Understood. I guess the Survey Corps uniform is... Oh, there it is. Right. Okay, I get ya. I get where you're going with it.
We can keep the Survey Corps uniform for a while, though. I do want to, like, look more closely at what we have here. Different colors of everyday kimono. Many. I'm assuming that the options will open up later. Hmm. Karate. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot more options later on. We could get glasses. You know, for now, we'll just stick with this. We are recently added to the Survey Corps. Wow, the switch feels like it's not heated at all so far. Alright. Tell me about crafting. This here's the craftsworks, and that there's the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Hmm. Looks like crafting. When you step up to the workbench, it'll I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. As for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any recipes you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. You can use the workbenches to craft Pokeballs and other items. It requires a recipe. We have the Pokeball recipe and a number of things. Okay. Quick and easy. No animations, no extra fluff. Just some Pokeballs in my pocket. Gotcha. Understood. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first step, first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokémon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokéballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. All so that more Pokémon species can be duly recorded in a Pokédex. And on that note, here you are. Finally! A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokémon research. Professor Lavenden continually adds to it with each report made on a new Pokemon species. Ooh. Fancy. Research points. Uh-huh. Okay, so we get... Ah, uh, we have to... We have to report about the species we've caught. And then we add to the thing. Gotcha. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready, my good crane. Nod. I'm ready to do some stuff. Beauregard! Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. I love side quests! Give them to me! <laughs> what do you want? So there's this Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? Yup. You see, I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Yep. Ah. You have to manually evolve them. Interesting. That makes sense. So I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, would you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Wurmple can evolve! You're right! Wow, cool. Okay. Ah, uh, you also have a request. 
You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have, must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? While on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon are certainly terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least a desire to actually touch one, mind you. Let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Okay. I can show you a Starly. I hope that you like that. Those ears. Oh, a photo. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This'll keep me up all night. Aren't you with the survey cor corpse? Core? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Looks like that. Got one of those shinx? Yes. Yes, I do. Just take a look at this! Let's have a peek at those round ears. No, A little creature. That's it! Its ears, its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get that bone out. You gotcha. Thanks for the, the medical, topical, powder, cream, whatever it is. Let us head outside of the village. That's me. I'm going. I wonder if that changes when your outfit changes. I hope it does, because that would be cool. What's up? Righto, let's get into it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay, each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of tasks. Press down to open the Pokedex. Gotcha. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Interesting. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Crane. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? You'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go! Hup. Combat rule. That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by... A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those shinks got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. I, you've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Nod. Crane's taking all of this remarkably well. And dodge, 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 dodge. Is this faster than running? Is this Zelda now? Let's check the Pokedex. Okay, you have to see Cyndaquil. You have to catch a number of Cyndaquil. You have to see it use Ember. You have to see it use Quick Attack. Okay. Flame wheel. A strong style move. An agile style move. We don't know about that yet. Okay. Fascinating. Habitat unknown. 
Gotta catch them heavy b -doof. Forms? b forms? Is there a special b out there? Oh, my. What could that mean? Starly, too. Unless that just means to evolve them, I suppose, but... Oh, we're gonna see. Get ready for some Survey Core Wisdom! Focus on a Pokémon with the ZL button, then press the Down button to open the Pokédex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokémon. Bidoof? Did you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right, catching just one won't do it. You gotta get two, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokémon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press S X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Okay. Oh, hi, Beedoof. I didn't even realize you were there. Ha ha. What? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Beedoof, no. You criminal. That's one. I, I got a Bidoof. Oh, hey, level up. Apricorn. What sort of range can we get going on here? Hoyo! Was that like a critical capture? I caught three Bidoof. I am the Bidoof master. Ooh. I have to catch 25 Bidoof? That's a lot of Bidoof, man. That's a heckin' lot of them! I can have so many Bidoof. Also, it's wild having a Pokemon catch not take 50 years. Like, I've heard people say already that everything in this game seems super streamlined. Which is really... I mean, I haven't experienced much of the game yet. So, we'll see. Hiya! What do you think of that tree, Shinx? Okay, so a tree has to have obvious resources. Also, you can have multiple Pokemon out at once. For whatever that's worth. So we can be like, Bidoof! 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 The Bidoof are observing each other. Those Bidoof were having a meeting. Alright, what's your Survey core Wisdom? I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. You just hold ZL and press down. Try checking your task tasks for Starly next. Alright, so here's my next question. What do I do with extra Pokemon? I guess we'll find out. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to catch him. Give it a try. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you've fini finished some tasks. What if I just... Lob it! That, that was nothing, Starly. Love! You know, I think... God, they're like Metal Gear guards. I think that could actually work. Oh. Hi! Uh, hi! 
I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm not real. You don't know that I'm here. I am imagination. I am imagination. Wow, I'm using a lot of Pokeballs on catching things I've already seen before. Pierre, investigate that tree. Thank you for your kindness. Oh, I am excited to play this game. And there's the Shinx. What? What? Now, if I roll between cover, does that aid with the stealth, or does it just feel heckin' cool? Caught, defeated, defeated with ground type? Different forms obtained is here, too. Ambush! I have to see you use Ember, after all. I can't dodge while in a fight. So that's not something that's going to be necessary, I guess. All right, so a defeated Pokemon cannot be caught. I mean, they've changed enough of the rules that that's the sort of thing you have to make sure of, right? I'm assuming you're not going to allow me over there yet. Medicinal Leak, loved by Farfetch'd. Ba -da -ba -da. Oh, that's like a really cool version of the level up jingle. I like it actually. And. Hoi! Oh, that's a battle. Whoops. Oh, but you can catch them unawares. That's like a mechanic. So there really is an ambush. It wasn't just me saying that. Oh, still? I'm sorry, Bidoof. Heck. New move on one of the Bidoofs in the party. So what do we... Okay, I have to defeat a lot. I have to get a heavy Bidoof. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what is the difference between ones marked with a red arrow and ones not marked with a red arrow? I'm not sure. Keeping its guard up, okay. So that's also a thing they can do. What if I get in between? It doesn't matter, okay. Probably. Oh, you dropped an item. So there's also that reason to fight things. Here we've got an ore. Can you do anything with that? You sure can. Okay. You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tumble stones inside, the same you need to craft Pokeballs. Understood. What's your wisdom this time? Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Buizel aggressive? That means if you try to hit it with its... It'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Famously aggressive po The dangers of taking damage. You'll, you can black out. Okay, so your health goes up over time. If you're not being targeted. 
and you can black out, and presumably that does something. Speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count towards that task, task so battling is extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Buizel's tasks. All right. Hey, how you doing? Huh? I just wanted to see what it looked like to get attacked by a Pokemon. Oh. Gonna get you. Gotcha. Okay, so now I have excess Pokemon, right? That's Crane. I guess you could probably take a photo in the photo studio. Yeah. It's not going to tell me about where my extra Pokemon go yet. That tree is shaken. I wonder if that means there's a Pokemon inside of it. Can I swim? Yes! Wow, okay. No, 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 I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> and then Crane died. Hey, I, it really looked like I could for a moment. Oh, she's not happy about that. It's okay, Crane. There you go. That'll probably be something I can traverse later using, you know, like, uh, something, some, 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 some sort of thing. Like I'll be able to use a Pokemon to get across the water. Boop. Ah. What are your tasks? Caught, large caught, defeated, defeated with electric, aqua jet. Okay. So you can interrupt a Pokemon attacking you if you simply send out an attack, but then the Pokemon will probably get a strike in. Maybe. Or send out a Pokemon, I mean. Oh no. Some of these have to be defeated with electric moves. Like that. Hmm. Really gonna be need to collect in a lot of these things, eh? Now what does a what does a berry actually do for me? N now that I think about it. Ah, gotcha. Classic Pokemon healing noise. Ah, that's Speedoof. It disappeared! A magical Bidoof. A Bidoof with great power! Jeez, everything actually does quite a bit amount of damage here. Can I... You can't check research tasks in the middle of a fight, I don't think. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh,
I get the feeling Shinx is also kind of just fragile. Oh, Wurmple. I need one of those. I need to catch that thing right over there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the bug. I'm gonna do it. Hey. I did it. Wurmple is an important Pokemon. Wurmple was like the basis of a, a third of Crane's old squad. Will I use them again? I don't know. I kind of want to, but it might be redundant to do so. Uh, Shinx, you are beat up. You are heckin' damaged in terms of hit point. Was that like the only Wurmple around? Horse. Horse? Horse! Horse, obtain! Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a bee doof. Whoops. Whoops. I just gotta catch more bee doof, alright? Dang it, bee doof. Get in the ball, bee doof! Thank you. Ooh, cherry berry. A different berry. A berry of cherry. What do you want over here? If you're feeling worn out, have a rest in the tent at one of our base camps. You can also rest there to pass some time. If it's nighttime and you're scared to be out surveying, the tent is a fine option. Okay, so nighttime is gonna be scary. For unknown reasons. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. A little reward for keeping up with me, your own crafting kit. Oh, can I craft in the field? With that? You can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Okay. Neat. Here's a recipe for potions, too. Berry and leek. Alright. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball any time. Or, with an Oran Berry and a Medicinal Leak, you can whip up a potion to heal up your Pokémon whenever they need healing. Nod. Research going alright? You can see if you got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokédex cover. Uh, tasks with unreported data 27. Oh, okay. Once you got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Laventon. See you soon. Okay. Dang it. Eh. Well, let's see. If I'm expected to just craft things frequently... Until I find another use for those things, I should just uh, do that, I guess. Anything else wacky out here? Any other fun friends? There's a hoist again.
You can enter first person mode by trying to focus when you don't have a thing in sight. Times I've given it food! A sighting of an unusual ponyta. Hey! Eat that! No, I mean, like, literally eat it. It's fine. I guess I shouldn't just throw it at you. Aw, oh, come on. I was trying to be friendly, but I accidentally pelted food into your face. So I, I guess I can completely understand why you would rather leave. Oh. Uh, F-O-E? <laughs> okay. Why is there a super pissed horse here? Hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, how, how are you? Um, alpha specimen. Hey, what if I do something extremely dumb? I'm not real. I think it showed an X. Implying that, no, that's not gonna work, idiot. Right? Horse? I'm not real. I'm not real. I'm not real. You're, uh, bopping your head to some cool beats over there, presumably. Chucks. Hey, uh, do you want f food? Do you like berry? You do like berry. Yeah. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'm not real. Hi. I'm guessing you're like level a billion, right? Uh, sacrificial beat of go! 40. Filled with wild might. <laughs> okay. You decided to battle some other time. I saw you use fire blast. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, what's that? That looks like a fun item. Uh, yoink. Bye. <laughs> Okay, bye. Don't piss off the horse. It's a bad idea to do that. You can catch this horse, though. Okay, bye. Maybe not. I meant to, uh... I meant to have this menu open, you see. Okay. So. What have we learned? There's a pissed off horse. I learned that there's a pissed off horse. That's about it. I've hit the capacity for learning. To, am I like... I'm trying to dash, but I thought I was like running out of stamina for a bit. Oh right, Shinx is angry. You're an angry Pokemon. I forgot. Okay, so you can go up mountains and stuff, or at least like cliff sides, but you have to put a little extra effort into it. Oh, you can switch up your Pokemon here.
Might as well uh, build a team of variety while we're... Okay, they go to pastures instead of boxes. Good. Got it. All right, Lavington. Oh, if it isn't the crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems to be a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit them, you get money. You get more money if you get certain things done. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Hmm. Not bad. Backstrike, eh? That seems like it's alright, right? Hmm, let me see. Hmm, I am most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Research levels of Pokemon species. If you raise it to 10, the entry will be complete, and you'll unlock all the detailed information about them. Okay. You also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. So you get an off, you'll be able to move up through the ranks. Ah, and now we can see some entries, finally. Hails from the Johto region. Though usually curled into a ball due to its timid disposition, it harbors tremendous firepower. Is that the only one we get an entry for? Okay, so I guess I'm going to be spoiling myself on entries. Oh, this is what we mean by form. Male and female. Presumably. Yeah, yeah it is. I was I was hoping for some sort of rare and mystical Bidoof, but no. Wait, hold on. There's a difference? To my uneducated eye, I see nothing. Alright, anyway, um... So, Syndicals research... You only get the information once you hit research level 10? Maybe I should have gone with a different naming scheme for these, because I had to spoil myself on the entries to do that. Uh, okay. Anyway. Hey! One star. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Crane. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. All right. I'm going to earn myself a star next time on this soon to be 5000 part series, I guess. I'll remember how to use menus eventually. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus. I get a star. A gold star. Because I'm... I'm did it.